Hello, welcome to Card Minds. Thank you for stopping by. This is going to be a general reading for the sign of cancer for the month of May, 2021. Thank you so much for subscribing, Cancers, for liking, for commenting. If you connect with these energies, thank you for pushing this channel forward. I appreciate every like, every subscribe. Thank you so much. Let's see what messages we have for the month. Ooh, coming out for the month of May. Three of Cups. Five of Swords. Messages for Cancers for the month of May. 2021. Too many cards. Messages for the sign of cancer. The Hierophant. The Tower, Ten of Wands, Strength, of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, Six of Swords. Very well, Cancer. Well, as as of the as as of the other sign. Sorry, I can't get my words straight. All signs have had major arcana. You as well, the Hierophant. The tower, the world, strength, all signs that this is the end of a cycle. This is complete end. Ten of wands, the world, completion of something. And you are realizing in the month of May that something is no longer possible, right? That now, it doesn't mean it, it's in a negative way. It's just that you have to make something official. You have to understand that the energies you are, right, you are in right now or the position or the situation that you are in right now is no, no longer belongs to you, right? And that you are looking... For bigger and bolder. You have the strength. You have the world. Which is completing a cycle. Done. Done. But you're working on the next one. You're already making something official. On the next one. Whether it be work wise. Career wise. Um, family wise. But it certainly looks like career wise because we have the three of pentacles discussions teamwork working together building together building something together and you are getting out of the energies of untrust 
not trusting people. Um, the in and out energies of people that promised you something that, you know, that, that you thought you were going to build something with, whether, whether again, whether it be career wise, family wise, um, relationship wise, although I don't see any relationship here. This is truly, truly a big shift in life, a big shift in energy where you are moving forward and leaving the past behind. This is a complete end of cycle. And it has been difficult. It has been difficult on the mental. It has been difficult on the ego. And because you have lived through a cycle here where you had to find the strength, find the strength to see forward, find the strength to make something official, right? The Hierophant. The Hierophant is also understanding who you are, understanding your values, understanding what you bring to the table, how valuable you are. People are wanting to come to you for advice, to come to you to build, to come to you for, um, for uh, advice on building the future. Now, you might be also ending something. You might be getting a divorce. You might be getting a loan at the bank. You might be, you know, this, the, the higher fent, and we will pull more cards to see where this is going. Exactly, Cancer. Because it is, no matter what, it's the end. It's the end of the cycle. But it's also the end because you want something different. You want larger. You want bigger. You deserve more, Cancer. You deserve something else. And you, far, far too long, have put yourself in a position of not inferiority, but thinking that you weren't worth as much, right? That you couldn't expand, that you couldn't move forward and build bigger and, and have that house, have that dream job, go back to school to get that diploma, get that managerial position, right? And now, whatever you're doing, uh, this is going to shift forward and you're going to leave everything behind, whatever worries, whatever didn't correspond to you, whatever negativity, whatever, whatever the journey is for you, you're leaving behind. The tower is there just to say, they give you clarity. Something along the line wakes you up. To make you understand that you deserve better and that you're moving towards something much larger than that. Much bigger than that. But before you complete the cycle. Alright, let's see what this is all about. Um, let's focus oh okay wait I didn't call the cards let's focus on this hierophant why is this hierophant here making things official conforming right um, going to people that have expertise to guide you along the way or you giving expertise to other people right all right again why is the hierophant here why is the Hierophant here? Cards are coming out, but it seems... There you go. Okay. Four of... Yeah, you're, you're... You have been disappointed. You have been disillusioned. You had offers, right? You had um, uh, a job, a career, a relationship, or, right, take it as it is, as it resonates in your journey. But... You, you weren't satisfied. You weren't satisfied. And the Four of Cups is sort of realigning yourself, uh, meditating uh, on this situation 
and understanding you're not wanting what is offered to you and not wanting what is there sort of bored with it but not in a not in a childlike way right sort of understanding that it's not for you that it's not enough for you but not exactly seeing the path towards that bigger expansion that bigger and bolder and you have the judgment card. And judgment is, again, rebirth. Completely changing your energies. Completely changing who you are. The judgment card is that inner calling. Whatever it means for you, Cancer. Whatever it means for you in your life, in your path. This is... This is the moment with the strength card and the judgment card to rise up. You're destined to so much more. That's exactly what I said in the beginning. You are destined to so much more. And up to now, you've seen too small, Cancer. Too small. Close. Um, you stayed in a certain comfort zone, Cancer. And now's the time where it's just exploding and expanding to push you forward in that new path, in that new cycle, that new, that, that step forward to that larger life. And it, it, let go of the old, let go of the old cancer. That is no longer suiting your lifestyle or suiting your, your desires, your ambitions. And you're, 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 you're a step into your new version, Cancer. You're stepping into that new, that new path, that new you, that new energy you have. And what, no matter how you put this, you have the judgment and you have the tower. And no matter how you put this, these are life-changing decisions. This month is changing your life. This month is, and, and, and this is, I, 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 I sound very serious, but every sign has had these, these um, readings. Every sign, I have, every reading I have done for each sign have been the tower, the death card, the strength, the the world the judgment right all these these uh cards that are saying rebirth you are waking up to a new person you and and i think that it also has to do with the dormant situation that we've had for a year right that or more than a year on four corners of the world we're all trying to adapt as better as as best we can and now it's we're wake sort of waking up after this year of of reflection of of um of self um self analyzing and um soul searching and now it's time to make decisions it's time now we're out of that even though we're not completely out of that of course but mentally we're we're waking up from that hibernation and we have to make decisions because the world is not the same. No matter how we cut it, the world is not the same. The energies are not the same. Our lives are not the same. Some people might have the same career, the same job, the same life, and sort of are staying in, in the same zone. But most of us, the majority, are waking up to, to, to the obligation of making life decisions. And any choice you make right in, in this month of May, Cancer, are going to be a, a very significant, have a very significant impact in your future. But trust your judgment and your intuition because you're on the right path. This is where you belong. It's not negative. It is just shooting you forward to where you belong, to that path, that bigger path, that bigger place you belong to. 
And you're almost there. You're almost there, Cancer. Everything is going to come together. Everything is going to come together. And, and, and you're just able to put the past behind and see forward, look forward. Healing your wounds, healing whatever was to heal that didn't correspond to you anymore, that people did to you, right? All of those, all of that is healing to make room for positive energies to move forward. And now, since those heals are wound are are healed these those wounds are healed sorry i can't speak you're 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 um you're ready you're ready to take on the new challenges maybe you weren't ready before right cancer i'm cancer rising and i'm understanding this reading uh i don't think you're ready before cancer now you are even if you think you're not, you are, you are. You've gone through introspection, soul searching, meditation, understanding who you are, who your values are. And now this is pushing you forward. You can handle it. You can do this. Why is the tower, the, why is the tower here for the sign of, uh, of cancer? I'm saying Scorpio, but why is the tower here for the sign of cancer? Why is the tower here for the sign of cancer? Thank you. Yes. Disillusions. A lot of deceptions. But also decisions to be made. Choices to be made. A lot of choices. Within those choices, some are good, some are bad, right? Some are good for you, some are bad for you. But you know. You have the judgment. You know intuitively you know what is good for you you know what your path is you know what you're destined to do at this moment let's see what this um ten of wands is all about what's this ten of wands about why is this ten of wands here thank you yes yes you have your emotions in check. Cancer is very emotional, so like as as Pisces and Scorpio, very emotional, very intuitive. Um, you but you have reached, and that is why you are ready, Cancer, because you have reached the balance between emotion and facts, emotion and and. Um, intellectual power right not to get overwhelmed by the petty things not to get overwhelmed by people by by the buzz by the you know by by word pollution like i said by people giving advice by people pushing you in this direction that direction telling you this is you're good you're not good this is where to go not where to go right that buzz in your head you know, everybody has advice. Everybody has an opinion. Everybody's going to tell you what to do, right? This seven of cups. And you don't listen to anybody anymore, Cancer, because you know what is good for you and you know your values and you know what you're worth and you know what you're destined to do. So you now have those can those emotions in check, right? No longer getting... um overwhelmed and you have clarity over your future and you have the energy to do it right because when we ha we're too emotionally connected when we're too emotionally um drived uh, it is it 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 gives us a misconception of our of our path right it it fogs everything up because we're too over, overwhelmed to make the right decision, right? Have the have that clear judgment over on on what we are supposed to do. 
So you have clarity. Yes, and look at this. You're ready. You're ready to embark on this new journey. You're ready to expand, Cancer. You're ready to expand and to grow. This next step is a long-term step. This next step is destined for growth, for long-term. Why is the... Yes, there you go. You, get, you, have the, you have the emperor. I'm going to put the emperor on the strength. You, have, you are in your power, Cancer. The emperor is the ruler of all, the leader. You are the leader of this. You are leader of yourself, of your values, of your worth of your strength, of your energies. You know where this is taking you. You know how to get there. You might know not know exactly what it looks like yet, but you have the power to do it. You have the ultimate power to do it. And this and if this is not your energy, uh, cancer these are people coming into your lives king of uh king of cups can be cancer pisces or scorpio does not have to be very important leader um and and the the emperor leader as well very powerful masculine energy does not have to be masculine but masculine energy can be an Aries, doesn't have to be a uh, uh, patriarchal father figure, brother figure, older, older person, right? If it's not you pushing your power forward, being the leader in this, in this energy, this is someone coming in extremely powerful, pushing you through, helping you through, leading leading your way, leading you towards your goal, putting things together to make this happen. Maybe someone lending you money, maybe someone connecting you to, um, to important people, to people that can influence this. Maybe uh, someone hiring you a boss this can also be a boss someone hiring you or someone promoting you this is someone important in your life but it's also you standing in your power because you have the strength which is courage persuasion influence right you have the determination I'm surprised you don't have the chariot, right? You have the determination to get, to push forward to this new step. Whatever is waiting for you. Cancer. Right? You, you, you will get there. No one rules you. Cancer. Right? You are the sole person that rule yourself. And, and you have the confidence to overcome these energies no matter what. And the emperor is here to help you, to push you forward. The emperor is the ultimate powerful leader. Someone who demands respect, right? Who, who that, that has authority, right? Can be a boss, can be a father figure, can, can be, you know, can be anything but someone you look up to if it's not your energy someone you look up to someone that's going to specifically push you in the right direction and find the solutions towards to you know around you to create and organize, you know, find those solutions to manifest your goal. They will make it happen with you. Cancer. Very powerful reading. Very powerful reading. Why is the world card here? Yes, look at this. 
look at this. You have, look at this, teamwork again. Three of pentacles. People are coming together to push you through. But you're, you, you might be building a business. You might be strategizing with people to move forward, to build your business, to start your business, to get that new job, to get that ma managerial position, to go back to school and get that diploma, to start a new career, right? Whatever it is for you, these are people that are working by your side to make it happen. Powerful people looking at all kinds of ways to make this happen, to help you through, to guide you through. Whatever it is you want to manifest, whatever it is you want to make happen, they are going to help you along the way. Lots of people, lots of people, powerful people, and, and teamwork here, people surrounding you, a lot of discussions, deciding, strategizing, what's the best way to do this? How can we get money? How can we get a budget? How can we get a, a, a loan? Maybe, right? And or how, how can we get, um, um, how can we get, open up that restaurant? How can we, you know, find that budget to uh, get that product done, that prototype done? Whatever it is, whatever it is for you, the, everybody's working together in your in your um uh in your way in your direction right to push you forward to make this happen and look at this you have six of wands which is victory but it's victory it's celebrating your talent celebrating who you are celebrating you almost have you might have public success you you can have public success Right? Maybe you have your opening your 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 YouTube channel, your your website, your product, your business, right? Whatever it is, you are you are celebrating this beautiful success with this team, with these people helping you through. Knight of Wands. Who's this Knight of Wands? Right? Another person here. Now the Knight of Wands opposite of the the um of the King of Cups or the Emperor, the Knight of Wands is sort of like, is sort of a lighter energy. Someone that's in and out, not very reliable, sort of wants things to come, you know, come forward quickly, not very, um, not, you know, sort of not thinking before thoroughly before making decisions, right? Rushing things. Everything has to be done yesterday and not very, you know, not very professional or reliable. But, Cancer, it can also be someone that is in and out of your life. Someone that can be a romantic connection. Can be. Doesn't have to be. But nights are about action, right? And the Knight of Wands about in and out and in and out and in and out. Someone that really doesn't want to build anything, doesn't want to commit, doesn't want to make anything official, but likes to have fun, right? Likes to just come in your life and have fun. There you go. Ace of Cups, right? This is someone in your life that comes in and out and that you do have a love connection. You have had a love connection, right? Let's see if we can pull another card on that. It's funny because all these readings, I, this is like the sixth or seventh reading, or I don't even know. Every reading at the end over here, there's a, there's a love connection coming in or coming back, the soulmate connection or you know the partnership connection is comes in towards the end of the month right um yeah yeah but i'm there's too many cards all right why is the um why is the ace of cups here for the sign of cancer why is the ace of cups here for the sign of cancer why is the ace of cups here for the sign of cancer Thank you. Yes, yeah, someone that, <laughs> I'm sorry, it's not funny. But it's someone in and out. Don't shoot the messenger. Do not shoot the messenger. Um, 
uh, these are just cards and if it doesn't apply to you it doesn't apply to you but the reason I am laughing it's not because of the situation it's because it's repetitively coming here at the same in the same um, position for most signs so this is a situation that has given you anxiety that has not been easy with someone coming in and out of your life where you don't know what to make what to do with it and it's giving you anxiety but i think you're moving out of this energy as well yeah you're moving out of this energy uh, let's pull one more card on this six of swords six of swords is moving away moving away to calmer waters and but you're moving towards right you're moving away from everything you're starting a new life cancer you're clearing the way for that new life new career new path yes it has been difficult you're but you're standing your ground you're standing your ground you know what you want you're persevering All right, one more card on this Six of Swords. Why is the Six of Swords here? Why is the Six of Swords here for, for the sign of Cancer? Why is the Six of Swords here? Thank you. Yes, yeah. Lot, well, a lot of meditation, a lot of soul searching, which just leads you to move forward, move away from all these energies, move away from people do not serve you and move away from this past life, right? Into new energies. You're ready for that. You're totally ready, Cancer. All right. And now what last messages? <laughs> there you go. The Knight of Wands, Knight of Wands. This partner connection, uh, you're putting it on pause, right? You're you have the two three of cups here. Let's see why this three of cups here. We didn't we didn't uh, we didn't clarify this three of cups, but I think the the three of cups are friends or celebrations, but I think that's in the past. Yeah, I mean, it is, this person, it, it, it is someone coming back into your life, someone messaging you, someone wanting to see you. Uh, Page of Cups are new energies, new budding energies. So I, I believe this is someone coming back into your life that you haven't seen in a long time that you really, that has been on a stuck energy for a very long time, right? And you're actually celebrating something with friends. You're celebrating something with friends. You might meet it, you might be meeting this person up again at a celebration. Someone you haven't seen in a long time. Someone you had, that you, you met, that you, that has been in and out of your life that you might have had a connection with at, with at one point and now is coming back into your life. I don't see an X card. I just see a person coming back into your life, but there is a partnership connection. There is a there is a, an attraction there. And I believe that you are seeing or meeting this person at a celebration with friends. interesting cancer interesting okay i hope i hope you enjoyed this reading i am laughing because i, I am a cancer rising and i'm identifying identifying with some of these messages so it doesn't happen very often that is why if you hear me chuckle here and there that is why it is only personal has nothing to do with you. Um, thank you so much for watching Cancer. Please comment down below if you connect with any of these energies and you enjoyed this reading. Don't forget to subscribe uh, and like, hit the bell. Uh, apparently that's important. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you soon for career readings. Thank you for watching Cancer. Be well. Bye-bye.